and welcome back. Today we are going to create a sensory bottle. Now you're probably sitting there going, what the heck is a sensory bottle? So it's really simple. It's basically a plastic bottle that's filled with a variety of liquid and solid materials that basically provides opportunities for observation and experimentation for your child. Uh, the bottles are inexpensive. As you can tell, I'm using a Voss bottle. They're simple to make and they appeal to infants through school age children. Toddlers are like completely obsessed with these bottles and I'm going to show you why. First thing you're going to do is basically open up your Voss bottle or whatever type of bottle you're using. I decided to use the Voss bottle because the top is very wide so it's easy to put things inside. So I'm going to fill the bottle up with basically a half amount of water. By the way, if your child doesn't drink water, this is a good way to motivate them and say, hey, if you finish this bottle, we're gonna do a really cool activity um, once the bottle is empty. It promotes you know, more water drinking because I know sometimes toddlers don't really like to drink a lot of water. Now I'm putting gel inside and you basically wanna fill this up, you know, another half. Make sure you leave a little bit of room on the top because you have to put in the different objects. At this point, once you're done adding the gel, I like to give the bottle a little shake just so that everything equals out inside the bottle before you place your objects inside. Once you gave it that nice shake, you're going to bring in your items. And you know, you could also do this with your toddler because it's fun for them. There's a lot of things going on. And you're gonna start basically placing in everything into the sensory bottle. This is what your final result should look like. It is super interesting. You can see all the foam stickers, all the different materials we used. I also wanted to state that the Voss bottles are BPA free. So if your toddler puts it in their mouth, there's really not that much of a concern in that area. Just make sure you hot glue the top. You don't want them to open it up. That's definitely a big no-no. Also, this bottle I would recommend from ages one to however old your child is still gonna be interested in them. You can put your child in a high chair and give them this bottle at the age of one and I guarantee you they will be completely fascinated Everyone by it. Everyone should have a sensory bottle. It is great for labeling, for playing I Spy, for bringing in the car for long rides, to use during quiet time, in a restaurant when you're waiting for your food. It is really endless. You can use it for anything that comes to mind. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you create a sensory bottle, leave me a comment below and let me know how it works for you.